Happy Monday, everybody. Uh, I'm sitting in a different area than I usually do because I feel like this area just doesn't get enough love in my house. I wanted to put this kind of chase back here to be my secret reading area, and then Kara turned it into Sven's diaper changing area, so kind of roll with the punches when you have babies, I suppose. Today is Monday. We are wrapping up the patented pocket we made in the zip-up hoodie. Uh, which is pretty cool. This is our first time actually debuting this kind of technology. It's a patent that we've been working on for over two years. So it's really exciting to see that really coming to fruition. We're, we're working through testing that out this week and making sure that everything works appropriately before going into production for the zip-up hoodies. And then I'm also putting the finishing touches on all of the packaging for the t-shirts. We're going to do no, like printed t-shirts, but then I also want to do just a blanks collection because I find myself wearing, as I am now, uh, just plain t-shirts and I feel like plain t-shirts are really good to kind of have in rotation as well. I almost kind of wonder if we'll do even more plain t-shirts and then the printed ones are almost kind of like the limited edition part of it. The really cool thing about that for me is that each tag is still gonna be individually numbered so it's gonna make these t-shirts very collectible yet which is fun. Kind of works into the entire ecosystem that is Zox already. And I get to make new packaging. And <laughs> I know I know all of you who have experienced a Zox order in the past can appreciate why that means so much to me. I think the experience of opening a package and having it be well taken care of, well crafted, uh, really takes it from just, wow, this is cool, to, oh my gosh, I love this. Trying to get some sweet footage of you, guy. I test drove one of those uh, a couple months ago. I wanted it to be awesome so bad, but they actually pump sound in from it. Like it doesn't even have a real engine noise, but they, they have it play fake engine noise, which as a car lover was like sacrilege, unacceptable. Kara loved her Beamer, didn't you? I did love my Beamer. Let's see if I can find some footage of that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're a gangster before you were a mom. <laughs> We decided while at Toys R Us that we should actually get Sven a keyboard. Brandon got one from Costco once before and then decided he wasn't ready to quite jam out like he really wanted to, so he returned it. But I'm gonna go buy one now. Then we're gonna use the extra space in our office as a little studio for our brainchild Sven, the upcoming musician. What? You're taking your pail in with you? He was in a rage if we didn't take part of that in. So we're taking the bucket. Where are you going? That brings back some memories. I used to sell Cutco when I was little. When you were little? little? When I was younger. When you yes. were younger. You yeah, were like I was, five and yeah. you were selling well, Cutco. Can you cut one of the, I heard this story so many times. Yeah, okay, cut the penny. Yeah. Well, I don't have any more pennies left, but I, I can I show you. Yeah, I'll cut a penny for you if you have it. My favorite one was uh, the sandwich spreader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one's legit. Yeah, this is a great one. Yes. Yeah. The thing's a beauty. Yeah. Can I cut a nibble? No. You know what note this is, right? Well, let me get. Can you hear that? No, I don't know what note it is. They didn't, you didn't know, learn I didn't what learn this is? that, no. Oh, it's B sharp. B sharp. <laughs> Wow, what's it's the a, drum snare there? Uh, right? <laughs> uh, oh, wow, even Smith is getting funny. Uh -oh. So you can see it's ripping and tearing. It's not easy. That's a cheap serrated knife. Now this is the Cutco knife, right? I can't believe that could even cut through. Take the knife and just glide through it. There you go. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> that's Kara's reaction to Cutco. I love your reaction. That's see the clean awesome. cut you got yeah, with it? Doesn't rip or tear. Crazy. That's why these knives will give you the best performance. Right. And you'll never buy them again because it's got the forever guarantee. Yep. 
We should have gotten this. This is 1949. Ah! That's right. Call Are you impressed? You gotta call somebody? I cannot believe they're actually selling Cutco here. That is awesome. That brings back a lot of memories. I used to go door to door at all my neighbors and show them the knives and do this thing and ask them if they knew what the inside of a piece of bread looked like. And then I'd literally just take a piece of bread and cut it like the thin way. It was fun. I feel like that made me realize that a big part of doing anything, you have to be good at sales, I guess, but the reality is you have to be good with people and just being like a personable, genuine person. You can't be making stuff up. You gotta be real. Just a wee man, I used to sell these. That's about Sven's age. Sven, get to work, you're slacking. 